put my hands on the mouse. Just sit back. So let's what check you... out cosmetics first. Uh, oh, before cosmetics, what is with Furry's item build? What what is this? It's, it's not a bad item build. Five branches? You're okay with it? Yeah, I'm okay with it. Okay. It's it's unusual. It's an older school build. There's a lot of older school builds that you'll see the older players go a lot, yeah. which is like the circulate branch, 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 uh, tango. We we saw Ferrari get last game, and then the mass branches into a tango. The only problem is it Earth puts you at risk of falling very far behind in the first couple of minutes because you don't have that extra extra four damage, which may not actually sound like a lot, but it actually is, especially compared to what you get from getting five branches. Um, so five branches actually gives you one less agility and one less strength and less damage, but it lets you get your bottle faster. So you have to just be very careful not to fall behind before the bottle. Yes, yeah, so this is just a let's, let's rush bottle in. You have got a lot of, you've got decent stats here, so he's sitting on, uh, well, 549 HP. Mushi actually has more because of the three branches and null talisman, but Mushi's going to have to bring out Tengos and or Sal before the bottle, so. Okay, see how things work out. Cosmetics, I, I had a little look. I definitely favor Mushi with the... Well, Mushi has his own set. Got the Red Queen, oh, is that his own set? Yep. Ooh, self-made. It's the self-made Queen of Pain. And Ferrari already with a better block. Yeah, on Radiant side too. Okay. <laughs> And Shadow Strikes. Ferrari trying to harass him from the low ground, not the best idea. He took a couple of last hits, so that will pretty much negate the regen advantage that he had in early game. He's going to have to use a Tango to seal the so hits. far. Make it for Mushi. No, he goes for the harass instead. Gets a last hit off of this as well. They may trade Shadow Strikes again, but no, Mushi on the back foot. He's so low already that he doesn't want to have to trade hits even further. Yeah, he really needs to be careful not to die in the next, I'd say, like one and a half minutes. Did he bring over a salve or a flask? Looks like, or sorry, a salve or tangos. Looks like he's only tangos too, so he's actually okay. going to be deathly low in terms of HP, unless he can evade a shadow strike like we saw Resolution do versus FY. Yep. Tango's now arrived. Both players going to skill up as much as possible. Ferrari. 500 gold already. He's all about getting that bottle ASAP right now. And he is behind. Even just being behind like 1 CS, 2 CS makes a big difference when you're so close to this bottle. If he had 2 more CS, he'd pretty much be out of his bottle very shortly. So. But he's much closer than Mushi is. Yeah what he is thinking about right now and he'll get it probably a little after the two minute rune spawns so we'll see how that turns out for him ferrari going for the one 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 instead of the two one zero and both players actually opting yeah. for that build he manip manip manipulates the creeps so well like the melee creeps hitting the range creep he just pulls it to himself so mushi can't even go for the deny there and watching the mechanics of these guys is just great so two minute rune gonna be spawning in five seconds time and the bottle is gonna be here for ferrari so could see some rune advantage coming into play fairly shortly. If, uh... Haste rune will be top, and Ferrari has much better control of the wave because he's always putting pressure on Mushi, so yep. he can make the decisions. He can make the decision whether to harass him, whether to pull back, whether to check rune, whereas Mushi's like, well, I'm just trying to fend off the aggression from Ferrari. Yep. Leaves his branch in the way for and top rune's perfect because that's the shorter rune path to take. You can scout it a lot sooner, and Ferrari will get it right off the bat, so. I'm actually surprised he didn't blink for it. Uh, it yeah. it would have given him Stream like up. one more CS yeah. for it, but not a big deal. He got an XP range for that last creep anyway, so experiencing Queen of Pain versus Queen of Pain is quite important because you want to be hitting that level 6. Haste rune is really important actually. The regen is actually not that great because of the DOT, unless you can actually dodge a Shadow Strike. Uh, DD's pretty good. Say so DD and Haste are definitely the favorites, favorite runes of this matchup. Okay. Well, 11 CS to the 8 CS, but also 8 denies for Mushi, so he's got a, a, a decent XP advantage, even just a couple hundred can make a bit of a difference as far as getting your level 6 ASAP, and we'll see what Ferrari does to kind of accommodate for that. He could actually go for the bottle kill, and it's not that risky since he has a Haste, oh, yeah. so we'll see if he attempts that. Does Mushi have enough gold to upgrade? And absolutely not. Actually, uh, when he bought his bottle, he didn't get any CS in between now and then. That would have been something cheeky to do. I guess it's like complete, a huge risk, and if you go missing for too long, like trying to go behind the tower to sneak it. But if you get the four minute rune, you'll, you'll make up for the damage that you take for it. So it is it is risky, it, and it won't even guarantee I think he's win. using this haste rune to guarantee the four minute rune is what he's thinking. Like, I'll just make sure I, if he gets two runes in a row and like Mushi, sure, I guess he could bottle crow, but Ferrari's gonna guarantee himself a possible DD, possible illusion rune. Maybe another haste. Yeah, it depends on how Mushi wants to play. I think he can go scout for a rune from the fog, and Ferrari won't actually know which ones he's committed yeah. to, and then he can try and play it that way. In terms of CS, 
Ferrari only three letters behind, a few denies behind, but not that big of a deal. Luigi's gonna go guessing for Rune, he's guessed bottom and it's gonna spawn bottom, so... Ferrari, unfortunately, will not get it. He pops his haste rune anyways to just get there faster, and Mushi will miss multiple last hits while he gets yeah, the rune. I'm surprised they don't, like, blink around to do it. They're missing a couple CS yeah. still. Not the greatest in terms of efficiency. And it wasn't the best rune for Mushi. This is not a rune that's going to help him that much. Especially not when it's sighted out by Ferrari. Yeah. If he uses it and has a level 2 Shadow Strike, he can get a lot of damage done to Ferrari's economy. Very close here, Mushi. Has the creep advantage, Ferrari will get forced back, so... Ferrari's bought his career out to do some bottle crowing, it looks like. Yeah, and it's very, very close to him, too. Or, very, very close this to This Shadow Strike's base. annoying, because Mushi can't use his bottle charges. Now he can. Wears off, pops his bottle charges, uh, we're gonna just... Uh, no, he's gonna stay invis, he's actually maybe gonna look to... He uh, left two bottle charges on the courier, why not just leave one? What in the world? To, he wanted to stay invis. He, he can still use two, you can use like one and then use one like one and a half second later. I think the fade time is longer than the recharge time for the bottle okay. charge. But he didn't even use anything out of the... And he just uh, comes out of invis anyway, so... <laughs> so he's forced uh, to get a yeah. salve, and he's falling a little bit behind because of that decision. Alright, well, the uh, Ferrari, he's hit level 6, has the Sonic Wave now available, and Mushi just one CS behind when he had like a good 4 or 5 CS lead earlier on in this 1v1 matchup. Yeah, and with getting the rune, or having the rune lock on his side. Alright, well, 6 minute rune gonna be the next big point of contestion. Neither player with any runes that they can use to help get them there, and... Neither player with Observer Wards either, which is something we saw from Ferrari in the puck versus... He's buying it right now. Okay, yeah. Alright. Uh, Mushi actually goes in, both players have Sonic Wave here. Mushi, not gonna chase. Ferrari blinks out, he did not want to fight. Even with the 5 Magic 1 charges, he decides against it. Mushi had Magic 1 charges of his own, so... Ferrari plays it safe, and we'll see if uh, Six Minute Rune will go Mushi or Ferrari's way. It's going to go Ferrari's way at bottom lane. Illusion Rune. That's a nice pick me up for player. Ferrari because yeah. Mushi has to take less time to check top Rune, and F Ferrari knows that it's very difficult to contest that. He does have magic charges, but no great reach. And Mushi forced the bottom crow yet again. Both sides do have flying couriers upgraded, and yeah. now skill builds still exactly the same. One one three one. And Ferrari also needed that because he just missed like four CS, like experience as well as CS in the mid lane while he got that rune, so... He's still on par with Mushi, but it's potentially some farm that was lost there, so... Hey, he gets back, has an illusion rune. Not gonna be a game breaker by any means, but hey, if you go in for a kill or if Mushi goes in on you, it's that slight little bit of extra damage, which could make a difference. Yeah, and Ferrari's actually a couple bit ahead in terms of net worth, because Mushi's actually bought a couple of styles, which isn't oh, yeah. the best for the long term. It's great for short term, because you don't you, you can apply a lot of pressure if you're at full HP, and you're not at risk of dying, but at the same time, you really want to be saving it for no talismans, for treads, bigger items that will help you in the eventual duel to the death. Alright, well, Mushi get. Sentry wards, okay. He knows Ferrari, I think, put this ward on his high ground, so he wants to de ward it. Oh, except he's gonna miss oh, the D ward. Oh, wait, no, it. okay. He's, he's, so, overall, that's a economy win for Mushi. He yeah. kills two wards, he spends 150, well, gains 100 back. He may only kill one. I don't know if he's gonna kill the other one. That's true. Killing the other one's not gonna be easy. They're gonna battle this one out here. Mushi forced to blink this Ooh, time. Ferrari cancelled his Sonic Wave there, knowing that if Mushi doesn't blink, he is dead to rights. And Ferrari with the 9 one charges, that's another thing you have to keep my eye on is how many charges your opponents has. Like having more one charges than them can uh, help turn the tides as well. Ferrari sitting on 9, Mushi just with 5 right now. I'm surprised he doesn't drop his null. Like these players do not, they're not all yeah. about the dropping Mushi for strength. Mushi did once or twice, but mm -hmm. in general has not. Next Second century ward not going to successfully de ward for Mushi. Let's see if Mushi will get the rune and yeah, no rune no. luck. Alright, well uh, we'll see him go back towards this middle lane and uh... It will be an invis rune that spawns, and the problem is it's still- Oh, Ferrari fighting under tower, dodges shadow strike, the dodge, shadow yeah. strike. Okay, that's that's really good for him. And with the invis rune, he can actually maybe go for a kill, but you have to consider that Mushi does have sentry wards in the mid lane. He's got enough mana for a scream sonic wave with the magic Here's wand. Here's the line of sight, but oh, doesn't even nah. doesn't even bother. Yeah. That's interesting. I guess he, he knows that- he probably assumed the sentry wall was more central. Like, he doesn't know where the sentry is. Like, he's probably thinking like- Ferrari- oh, Ferrari could go for a YOLO play right now. He could blink in, scream, and ult, and if Mushi doesn't react fast enough and blink, then he's dead. So, Ferrari looking for that opportunity to catch Mushi. It was a very small window, maybe about seven or eight seconds, but the opportunity has passed. Mushi has topped himself off.
Okay. He's back to full HP here. This is getting to the point where both players want to start tanking up a bit, I imagine. Like, get some Strength Treads going, get something just so you can survive the Scream plus Sonic Wave yes. combo. Strength Treads is, I think, by far the next, the next most important item for either of these players. But still, Rune Control is more important than that, even. Looking at CS, though, Ferrari's really pulled ahead. 41 CS to the 32 of Mushi. A lot of that does go back to the, the Rune Control, I'd mm -hmm. say, though. Queen of Pain. Mushi getting the Belt of Giant Strength and no boots. Wow, so. you had that, didn't you? Surfboard Zag, you talk about like Ferrari, I mean Mushi wasting net worth on Sal's, but Ferrari's bought second set of obs now, so. Yeah, but Ferrari, it's it's an investment. He gets more CS and. It's in range though. Mushi doesn't have sees to regen. This. Oh. Dewarding it's not easy though. He needs vision, which he doesn't currently yeah, really have. Yeah, he has to blink up the hill to get it or walk up the hill, both of which are very. If the creeps give him vision on the high ground, he could kill it from the low ground, but he needs the creep. So Mushi there. guessing another rune. Is he going to get it? The rune spawns in just about three seconds. Mushi, oh no. Bad luck for Mushi. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Well, we'll get back towards mid lane, and he's got his career there, though, so he, he can bottle crow. Yeah, I imagine. He also scouted out the rune. That's the other thing there. His career was there scouting out the rune, which means he knows exactly what rune Ferrari gets. If Ferrari catches him by surprise with an invis or a haste, then you're in trouble, which won't happen to Mushi with the scouting. So Mushi does not have the mobility advantage. He has no boost right now, but he does have the HP advantage. 891 compared to Ferrari's... Oh, actually, oh, Ferrari's... He just got his belt. Yeah, he just got yeah. his belt too. So, but Ferrari has boost, so he's going to complete treads a lot quicker than Mushi. And Mushi, no. again, ferrying himself another salve very, very soon. So a lot of net worth has been dumped into mm. consumables. That's kind of surprising. Like he's seeing on full HP. Do you th what's, what's kind of the reasoning behind just bringing more salves? It's just in case he takes a lot of extra damage, which Ferrari has been doing. He's been doing a lot of stray damage now and then. He, he just does not want to be in that sub 500 critical HP threshold that Ferrari will instantly burst him down from. That's what, you, you can't be in that. Just, just like this. He can bottle it up, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah, well, he there pops a salve, saves the bottle charges for now, and... Mushi, under a lot of pressure here. Even just a small rune like an illusion makes a big difference because it means Ferrari has been dominating the CS for the last 60 seconds. While these illusions have been up, Ferrari's have been getting absolutely everything as far as CS goes. Not just the last hits, but a ton of denies just Mushi's been getting, up. Mushi's getting manhandled at this point, yeah. and now the tower siege will begin, and Mushi's been forced to play in a passive position for so long. He's going for the kill, maybe, or at least trying to push Ferrari back. So it's like it's done. Ferrari going to turn around. Sonic Wave as well. Mushi's got 15 one shots. He needs to pop, and Ferrari has 15 of his own. Sonic Wave is going to come close to getting the kill here. Mushi, Flink Scream. Wow. Five HP. That was played so well by Mushi. That was like... That was played really well by Ferrari. He yeah, blinked to dodge a Shadow Strike, like, and then he went back <laughs> in for the right clicks. Mushi almost turned that one around, though. Magic Wand saves lives for both of them. That was quite the ending, I gotta say. What I, a turnaround. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna win that fight. <laughs>